Hello everyone, this is uh, Princess Royal right here. How is everybody doing? I'm just wondering, is anybody seeing or thinking about how these celebrities, you know, is throwing around mental health and mental illness like it's just like it, ha it has come to a point where it, it's just like this serious debilitating condition is being you know ridiculed or uh, being thrown around in a very insensitive and disrespectful manner does it bother anyone anyone else because I just I just I just don't get it I don't understand some of these celebrities. They have completely lost their mind. Mental health or mental illness is a very serious condition. And the millions of people around the world live with this condition. They live quietly and in silence with this condition. They try every day to, you know, to do what they have to do and to continue to be functional in their life. So, I can understand, you know, a conversation on mental health every here and there, but the idea of commercializing monetizing this absolutely serious mental condition is disgusting is despicable and it's inhuman to the core does this some of this celebrities understand how they may be traumatizing people who's actually suffering from this mental health or from mental illness because every time they are parading themselves on a national platform or on a you know on a tv or podcast or talking about this you are they are actually brushing their challenges and their these difficulties on their face i'm sure that some of some some of the people that struggle with mental illness wants to live their life closest to normal they don't want to, you know, victimize themselves. They want to live over it. They want to take control of their own life and do what they have to do like everybody else. They don't want to be told every day, every second by a privileged brat, millionaire, crying on the TV. How much longer will anyone talk about their their trauma or the mental mental illness or mental health they had as a result of their mother's death most of people have lost their mothers most some lost their mothers when they were very young some even didn't know who their mother was because their mother either died during childbirth or died when they were infants. And somehow they are living their life and being successful at it. Some lost their mother when they were a child. It's very traumatic. I can relate to it. I understand because I lost my mother too. 
even though I didn't lose my mother when I was a child, but I still, it's very painful. It still hurts. So I can imagine people who lost their mother when they were much younger. So I cannot understand if everybody else is trying to overcome these losses, okay, and doing what they have to do. Why is one man can't get over his own loss? And, you know, and in a way, wants to, you know, re-traumatize everybody dealing with a parental death just because he cannot overcome his trauma. Pause. Traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, is real. And many people, you know, dealing with, you know, one mental health challenge or the other, wants to live their life without anyone, you know, talking about their condition, you know, every second and every minute. You know, anytime they turn on their TV or the, they, they turn on their, their, their social media. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. We all know where to go to get help with our mental health. There is psychiatrists all over the place. There is psychologists. There is counselors. There is therapists. Okay. There is clinical social workers where people can get help okay you <laughs> you are not the one coming to educate people how to you know get help with their conditions they know how to do it i suggest you go get help for your own conditions i'm talking about prince harry because i can no longer tolerate this talk of his trauma and his mental health and all of that because i think he is being insensitive to some people who are living with that condition who wants to be able to get on with their life without victimizing themselves with their mental health there are very strong heroes out there in the world that we should be encouraging and everyone knows where to go when their condition can no longer be managed. This, this, this condition has been around for a very long time. So he's coming out on the TV, you know, telling us how to get a therapy is as ridiculous as it comes. And the worst of it is like some of them that is talking about this are not qualified in any way, shape or form to talk about mental illness. So they need to go away, disappear, and let the professionals and the experts talk about mental illness that people who are actually suffering from that will benefit from. That's one thing. Then another one being this victimhood. What world are we living in? Where some of these quote-unquote celebrities are not no longer willing to take responsibility of their own behavior or their own actions they have to in one way or the other present themselves as a victim when they are actually the aggressors and the perpetrators this is everything we are teaching our children not to do we taught our children how to take responsibilities but now, no. Some of these, you know, um, some of these celebrities coming out on the TV, and I know who I'm talking about specifically. Painting themselves as victims. And not trying to take any personal responsibilities of whatever you know um them have contributed to 
but all of a sudden it's someone else's um fault we are just the victims that is unacceptable because we cannot run a life uh, run the world where no one takes no responsibilities where everyone paints themselves as victims you can imagine how that world is going to look like these people need a lot of growing up to do they need to grow up and for Christ's sake, get the hell out of our faces. Because they're not contributing nothing to the world. They are just making our world worst. But anyway, thank you so much, you know, for tuning in. I will talk to you next time. And thank you for your time. I'm about to drive. Have a nice day.